TV shows to watch if you're into science. Who says you can't learn while being entertained? From chemistry and physics to the entire planet of wildlife, here are the simplest science TV shows to watch. Pandemic. How to prevent an epidemic. It's eerie. Netflix released Pandemic, the way to prevent an epidemic, at the end of January in 2020. Days later, the coronavirus pandemic wreaked havoc across the planet. This six-part miniseries is a must-watch in today's times. Pandemic seems prescient because it follows scientists, doctors, and activists across the planet who are all preparing for the subsequent rapid contagion. They're convinced that a worldwide virus could hit any day, and in hindsight, we all know they're right. Together, they say, when we mention another flu pandemic happening, is it a matter not of if, but when? This series starts strong, and therefore the first two episodes are super compelling to watch. It gets, a bro it gets a touch broad and sometimes uninteresting. On the other hand, it picks it back up very frequently, and especially in time for the last episode. Bill Nye Saves the World Bill Nye the Science Guy is back to entertain and educate a replacement generation of youngsters and adults. Nye's Netflix show spans 25 episodes across three seasons. He explains topical scientific issues, debunks pseudoscience, and does a couple of experiments along the way. It's one of the excellent TV series for lab experiments. While it's family-friendly viewing, Nye is more snarky and combative than in his earlier show. Sense Media even advises parents that the series fits teenagers better than youngsters because the host pokes fun at people he disagrees with and handles mature topics like sex. For teens and adults alike, though, it's entertaining because of scientific views and popular opinion. Everyday Miracles Have you noticed what proportion of glass is around you? Every single gadget has a screen. The more time you spend with screens, the more you realize that you take it all for granted. Everyday Miracles celebrates the wondrous inventions of the world all around us by taking a look at what life would be like without them, and therefore, the stories of their vision. Materials scientist Mark Miodownik may be a bundle of energy, and his enthusiasm about the planet around us is kind of infectious. They were making him this excellent educational show for adults and youngsters. This child-friendly BBC show takes one theme for each episode and explores it thoroughly. For instance, there's an exquisite episode on the standard razor blade and how glass entirely changed how humanity builds, well, everything. Brain Games the one reason to tune into National Geographic regularly is the Brain Games. Brain Games explores how the human mind is capable of tricking itself and others. The show's greatest accomplishment is how it involves viewers and audiences. Often, you'll be asked to participate in the ongoing illusion or mind trickery. It's one of the simplest TV shows teaching science. Part of the magic is Jason Silva, an incredible host who plays both the dupe and therefore the expert, because the situation demands. If you really want math, a couple of the episodes have numbers in them, a lot of them are brain teasers though. So Brain Games isn't great for binge watching, instead we might recommend one or two of the episodes at a time. White Rabbit Project The ever popular Mythbusters is no longer available on Netflix, but the build team behind Mythbusters got their show. Hosts Carrie Byron, Tori Balesi, and Grant Imihara, whom you'll have seen before, conduct crazy experiments to check out some wild claims. But first, understand that this is not Mythbusters. Consider it an homage at best, and you'll enjoy White Rabbit Project. If you're expecting a spin-off, you will be disappointed. White Rabbit Project has its own styles and sensibilities, with each host bringing their expertise to style grand experiments. The single 10-episode season sees the team test everything from potential superpowers to intricate heists and thefts. And yes, fans of chemistry TV shows can anticipate to chill with crazy lab experiments. It takes a couple of episodes to warm up to the hosts, but White Rabbit Project causes you to really want to be a part of the gang by the end of it. A Hundred Humans A Hundred Humans is quite a soft science as television program, a touch sort of psychological versions of Mythbusters. This fun and wacky series conducts experiments on a gaggle of a hundred anonymous people, only identifiable by their t-shirt numbers. The thought is to answer questions like what humans find attractive, pain versus pleasure, and etc. Science correspondent Ali Ward and comedians Zenba, Zenab Johnson and Sammy Obeid host each episode. They banter and joke around, interview the contestants and experts, and find out about what each experiment entails. 
To be fair, the experiments don't always employ strict scientific conditions, so chalk this one up as more fun science than actual science. The first season has eight episodes, with about five experiments per episode. Start with episodes wherever you find the topic interesting. Once you get into the groove, you'll probably enjoy the others too. Explained Vox Media's short video explanations were going viral on YouTube. So, Vox and Netflix teamed up to form a science television program to simplify complex topics. Everything is predicated on hard facts, logic, and science. It's a sort of mixture of things you gotta know and things you were too afraid to ask about. Explained focuses on a replacement topic in each of its 30 episodes, which lasts about 18 minutes. It imparts facts and data through a mixture of animations and infographics that makes it easier to digest. Each episode features a new narrator and features interviews with experts on the subject. This short science television program has been such a hit that Netflix has ordered two spin-offs. The Mind, Explained, may be a five-part miniseries narrated by Oscar-winning Emma Stone, delving into topics like memory and dreams. Sex, Explained, is another five-part miniseries narrated by singer-songwriter Janelle Monet about issues like attraction and birth. Our Planet is there a better voice to explain anything nature than the chocolatey tones of Sir David Attenborough? Our Planet combines the legendary British natural historian with the team behind a number of his previous TV shows, including Planet Earth, The Blue Planet, and Frozen Planet. That alone is reason enough to observe this marvelous eight-part Netflix original series. Importantly, Our Planet not only looks at wildlife, but how citizenry is affecting it. It shines a harsh light on global climate change and, therefore, the human impact on the wildlife and every possible living organism. Uh, the documentary is nearly a call to arms for us to protect our planet that we live on. Each episode explores a different ecological system and the way it works in several parts of the planet. It presents the marvel of life with breathtaking footage captured in a marvelous sort of way. Night on Earth in the wild, tons of action takes place after the sunset. Nocturnal creatures have much better hearing at night and vision than we do. But modern technology is catching up to give a never-before-seen sneak peek of what things look like after dark. In Night on Earth, low cameras, heat tracking, and other technologies close to point out what happens within the moonlight. It feels strange, but fascinating, and you'll slowly get used to it. From predator attacks to mating rituals, Night on Earth has the weather of a classic wildlife show, but with a fresh new palette. Sometimes the way manufacturers have embraced images feels artificial, but it isn't a deal breaker. Narrator Samira Wiley, and additionally the storytelling team, do an excellent, honest job of entertaining and educating. But the highlight here isn't what you want to see the most, as what you do see. Edge of the Universe Bill Nye and others attempt to make science TV shows fun and academic. Edge of the Universe is for science nerds who know their basics and need to understand more. This three-part series features scientists who explore one aspect of the cosmos in each episode. First, they tackle the question of alien life and habitable Earth-like planets. Next, they appear at asteroids and comets and the way they form the world. Finally, they appear at the start of the universe and the way it's enormous today, but also ever continually shrinking. If you've ever wondered about all that lies beyond Earth, this is the television program that you would like to watch. It's a brand new phenomena thanks to how much we've been able to see and explore of the universe. A Year in Space Science fiction has often fed us the fantasy that at some point we'll all be living on the moon or Mars, but we're on Earth and our bodies obey the basic laws of physics here. People aren't exactly sure what happens to the physical body without Earth's gravity. Watch A Year in Space to find that out. Astronaut Scott Kelly spent a year on the International Space Station, conducting experiments and experimenting on himself too. His twin brother astronaut Mike Kelly was still back on Earth. NASA tested the brothers before, during, and then year-long periods after to seek out the consequences of zero gravity among humans. This 12-part miniseries tracks those 12 months of Kelly's life aboard the ISS, the longest by any NASA astronaut. It also appears it also features interviews with the family, friends, and NASA officials and experts. It slowly unravels what Kelly's year could mean for the longer term of space exploration and living within the great beyond. 
So, that's all for today's video, guys. I hope you found this interesting and possibly useful. Until next time, stay tuned to our channel for more amazing videos.